Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up abandoned cart emails in Shopify. Now this video will have everything you need to know about setting up abandoned cart emails in Shopify and how you can use it for your online store. So without further ado, let's dive right into their website. So here we have the Shopify dashboard and currently we're using a free trial account which will expire in three days. So for example, if you sign up for a free trial account, you'll only have three days until you're going to need to subscribe to one of their plans to continue using their Shopify services. However, uh, we're, we can actually get started with how you can set up your abandoned cart emails. And first off, setting up abandoned cart emails in Shopify is a great way to recover potentially lost sales by reminding customers about the products they left behind. So Shopify has a built-in abandoned cart recovery feature that automatically sends out reminder emails to customers who added items to their cart but didn't complete their purchase. So before you can actually set up your abandoned cart emails, you must make sure to verify the email that you use to sign up for Shopify. So just make sure to check the email you use, check out the inbox, and then verify your Shopify account so that you can make use of this feature. All right, so first up, to enable abandoned cart recovery in Shopify, you're going to have to log in to Shopify admin. So right here on the dashboard, and then look for settings. And then from the settings, we're just going to look for notifications right here. And then uh, select customer notifications. And then from here, we're just going to scroll down until we see point of sale where we can see POS abandoned checkout. So as you can see from here, this is sent when a POS draft order is created so a customer can complete a purchase online. So if we check this out, you will see a default template made by Shopify for your abandoned cart email so here as you can see it says thanks for stopping by my store uh, this is just a placeholder and of course you can modify this depending on the name of your online store and then it says here are you ready to complete your order and then they have this button to complete their purchase then welcome to our shop hope you enjoy the experience everything here is customizable and this is a sample of let's say the products that they added to their cart but didn't finish checking out so it should appear over in this section and as well as the customer information that they added or they have uh, based on their account if they have an account or whatever they filled up in their uh, checkout page there's also a link and of course the email that's associated with your shopify account so here you can either send a test which will be sent to your uh, email or to the email that you used to sign up for Shopify so we're gonna check that out real quick so that we can see the test and right here thanks for stopping by my store are you ready to complete your order so this is how it's gonna look like when it's being sent to your customer and of course, uh, the button should be interactable, but since this is just a test, uh, this is not functional yet. But basically, that's how the test uh, works. And you can also edit the code right here. So here, it's going to include a bunch of HTML codes that are present in the abandoned checkout email. So here, you can edit the email subject. So buy online from your shop name, you can edit this. So let's say we edit it like that. Now when it comes to customizing your abandoned cart email templates, you can actually include, uh, it's a good idea to actually include a personalized greeting. So this means using dynamic variables like the customer's first name. So for example, uh, in, in the email subject or whichever part of the email body, you can include something like a customer first name. So this will auto-populate the name of the customer depending on what they filled in their uh, checkout page. I'm just going to show you 
how the code looks like real quick. So it's going to be an open parentheses and then the opening bracket. And then we're going to type in customer dot first underscore name. So it's going to be something like that. And this will make the email more personal since it's going to include their uh, their personal name, of course. After that, you can also try adding some call to action. For example, include a clear and compelling call to action like complete your purchase or claim your items before they're gone. There's also uh, you can also include product information and as well as a discount code if you'd like. So you can offer a discount in the email. This can send this can incentivize customers to complete their purchase, and of course, it's gonna make them want to add more products, maybe if the discount is good. So once you're done editing or customizing the code for your POS abandoned checkout. You can just close this and you can also use liquid variables to customize your templates and you can learn learn more about them here on this uh, help center page you can also customize the look and feel across all email notifications from the customized email templates so right here all right so basically that's for our code and then Normally, you can also set the timing for sending abandoned cart emails. So this means including a particular time frame before the, the email gets sent to the customer. So after they abandoned their cart on the checkout page, let's say you set it to two days. Then after two days, they will receive an email showing this uh, template that we have right here. And you can edit that by, uh, we're, just, we're just gonna head back to our main dashboard first. And then here, uh, look for settings. And then check out. So you should be able to see the abandoned checkout section here. However, for some reason this update or the current version of uh, Shopify isn't showing that section. So we can type in abandoned right here and check out abandoned checkouts and then it should appear under orders drafts abandoned checkouts if you look at this section you can personalize your messaging with improved email editing and workflow customization so uh, this is the marketing automations and if you check this out and use some of their templates this will be locked under a paid subscription so if you have a subscription under shopify then you should be able to access this after you upgrade your plan and you can see here you have these options so you can convert abandoned product browse this uh, allows you to send a marketing email to customers who viewed a product but didn't add it to their cart there should also be one right here so recover abandoned cart you can send a marketing email when a customer adds at least one product to their cart but doesn't check out All right so once you subscribe to shopify then you should be able to unlock these features that allow you to automate abandoned cart emails and that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.